So after this basic understanding of limit, let's see what further we have in hand. Now let's understand the concept of a using a graph, a simple illustration using the concept of graph. Now suppose you have a function like this, say it is a curve like this. It could be a direct variation or inverse variation. It's an inverse variation curve. You have a curve like this. You find that this curve is moving like this and it's coming closer and closer to x. If you see this function is going to be y is equal to 1 upon x. Just imagine suppose x is 0 then y or f of x. Suppose x is equal to 0. In such cases what will f of x become? f of x will become 1 upon 0 which is absolutely indeterminate. In such cases we say that x is coming closer and because when this if this line touches the x-axis that means that at that particular or if this line touches the y-axis one of these quantities is bound to become zero. Suppose y touches the uh, sorry this curve touches the y-axis that means x is zero and if x is zero this entire expression becomes meaningless. So we say that x is coming closer and closer to zero but it will never become equal to zero. And hence y will attain a specific value, will limit itself to a particular value as x approaches a particular value. So we say this is a simple example of how we can use graphs for this. So you find that this particular graph would never be touching the x-axis or the y-axis because if it touches the y-axis then the function would become that would mean x is equal to 0 and the function would become absolutely indeterminate or undefined. In such cases, the function has no meaning for x is equal to 0. So we say, but it will attain a specific value. So, my, so this is how we can show it in the form of graph. Similarly, that graph of say, we did about f of x is equal to x square minus 4 upon x minus 2. If you draw those graphs also, you will find that uh, you will get various, uh, say you have various, this became, ultimately it became x plus 2. So you took various values of x, say 1, then it becomes 3, uh, and sorry, and when it becomes 2, it is 4. So you have various, uh, here you have, so the graph would become somewhat like this. And you will get a graph like this. Because you substituted these various values. So as x approaches 2, you will find this various values of the graph and you say this is a particular graph of this. But this is a case of a continuous graph. But a graph like this, you take an inverse variation graph, you will find that it is indeterminate if you take x is equal to 0. Such a graph will not even touch the two axes in any case. So this also explains the concept of limits. As x approaches 0, the value of y will approach a particular value but it will never become equal to that value because x is also not becoming equal to that particular value. So it's just a graphical way of explaining the concept of limits.